Hello guys, welcome back. So here's uh, here's what we are going to do in this tutorial. I will set up configuration files. I usually like to write my code dry as possible. That's why we are going to create some separate files, separate configuration files. One configuration file will be consist of our global variables like you know IP address, IP addresses, uh, host names, etc. And we are going to call that file wars.nix. The second file is going to be a common configuration. This this configuration will be included or imported into our Jenkins configuration and Nexus configuration. And if we want to install other tools in the future, this file will be included inside that configuration as well. So configuration or maybe let's call it just common since that's uh, common not common common that next and we also need a file called hardware configuration I will explain what that file does in a minute okay all our servers run on an Intel CPU that is x86 underscore 64 but if you want to create that pipeline using your Raspberry Pi RPI you need to change the architecture settings inside that hardware configuration so this is the neat part of NixOS so you, you can install exact systems on different architectures anyway once we uh, created all these files we will create custom configurations for Jenkins, uh, master, that next, and I'm not going to draw every uh, configuration because there is no space left. So we are going to import these files into these files. So that will give us uh, some modularity. Sorry for the disgusting drawing. Anyway, so let's get started. So let's go back to our CICD project and let's activate our Nix shell, Nix development shell. Now go back, ins go to inside IAC. We have that Terraform directory. Let's create another direct directory called Nix. Let's go inside that directory and let's create hardware. Sorry, hardware configuration. That Nix, wars. That Nix and common, common. That Nix. Let's go to our Emacs. Uh, window let's start with hardware configuration before that tutorial i already uh, created um, a template so we don't write these files from scratch just paste it here just save that file let's go to let's create wars that nix let's go back to documentation and get the variables file content just paste that here save that and let's update that public ssh key save the file here i set up ip addresses and our service ports normally jenkins runs on ad but I made it 10,000. I also made it 10,000 on uh, Jenkins agents, Sonar Cube, and other services to make it easier to remember. The only difference here is uh, since Prometheus and Grafana will run on the same machine, which is 14, I made Prometheus 10,000 and Grafana 10,001. Save that file. Let's go and create a common. That Nix, go back to my documentation. I called it configuration 
that mix here, but we will fix that in a minute. I will call it common that mix. So in this common configuration, we are importing variables and hardware configuration. Anyway, save that file and go back to my documentation. Now we are going to create uh, unique configurations for Jenkins, Master and other tools. Let's create uh, those files. And we also have SonarCube, but I will get back to this uh, later. Let's go back and just create these files. Go back to Emacs. Let's open up Jenkins Master. So importing vars and configuration. It's not configuration, it's common. That makes. Let's go to uh, Jenkins agent. Let's grab that uh, file and paste it here. Uh, let's fix that. Let's go to documentation and grab Nexus. Just paste that Nexus related configuration as well. Let's grab Grafana, monitor, paste. So we just created hardware configuration that next and we imported that file into common that next then we imported that common that next file into all of these files and we also imported that was that next inside common that next and other files as well i want to note that this is just a personal preference of mine I like to write the code this way, but you can also, you can create a one giant file if you want, of course. Let's say you have a file for Jenkins master. You can include a common that Nix code blocks here and hardware configuration as well. You know, your tool configuration here. But I don't like that because if you want to change something in the future, you will need to go inside every single file to change that value. For example, the port or host name, etc. I like this cost structure, uh, so that's why I'm doing that. So let's talk about SonarCube. If you go to this website and search for SonarCube, we have this package, but this is not what I need. If you don't see your package here, one thing you can try is to run a Docker, uh, Docker container of that service. So you can find the Docker compose file and run your service as a uh, Docker container. Or maybe you have your own service that you want to run on that Nix machine. So in that case, I don't recommend to use a Docker container. So what we do is there's a there's a tool called compose to Nix. So this tool is a great tool that basically takes a Docker compose file and converts that file into a Nix configuration file, which is very neat. So let's go back to our documentation. And by the way, Compose to Nix is made by this awesome guy. I found that Docker Compose file for SonarCube from the internet. Okay, let's create that Docker Compose YAML file. Let's go back to Emacs and open up that that file and paste. Uh, by the way, you need to remove that uh, version attribute here and save that file. Let's go 
back to terminal. So let's create a Nix configuration file from that Docker Compose file by using Nix to, sorry, by using Compose to Nix. So here's how we do that. Copy and paste that command. Just press enter. So it seems like it's done. Let's see the content of uh, that file. As you see, it's named uh, docker compose that nix by default, but we are going to change that file name. So it's written here, auto-generated using compost to nix. And that's uh, a valid nix source configuration. It's a bit long, but now let's do some modifications like uh, importing our variables. Let's open up Jenkins master. Let's copy that let's block, paste it here and import block as well. Just save that file. Now once we imported all the files we have to change one more thing that is the port number. Let's search for port. So here is the SonarCube default port which is 9001. Go to my docs and find that value. So here it is. Just take that. Just copy. You can also copy the whole file if you want. Just paste it here. Re reformat. And done. Alright, after that let's create a bash script that uploads all these configurations to our NixOS machines that are running on Proxmox. Let's call that file deploy configs. Just make it executable. Let's go back to text editor and open up that file. Let's create a trusted user variable. Now let's declare a list. And let's make a for loop. Now to prevent SSH warnings, I will include that line. I will remove all my uh, SSH keys for these hosts. And let's just build every configuration on uh, each machine. Just save that file. Make sure um, your Proxmox server is up and running. Let's access that server. Yeah, we have all the NixOS machines up and running. Um, I realized that I made a mistake here. NixOS config. Let's run that script. All right, it looks like um, everything is finished. Let's go and check if our service is actually created. Jenkins is running. Let's see for uh, Jenkins agent. It's running. Solar keep is running. Yes, Nexus is running also. Yeah, Prometheus is running as well. And C for Grafana. Yes. So let's uh, destroy everything. Let's close everything. Let's uh, access our Proxmox. Get this terminal uh, to this workspace. Let's go to Terraform and let's destroy everything. 
Terraform destroy auto approve. And now let's create a new bash script that provisions our VMs using Terraform and after that just deploys every uh, application using Nix on these virtual machines. Uh, let's go back into our IAC folder and let's create a new bash script called create infra. Let's make it executable. Let's go back and open that file. And let's create a function first that is called um, create VMs. Let's echo a message creating VMs. Change directory into Terraform. And let's do until Terraform. So this function is going to create our VMs and let's um, make another function called install services. Um, let's change our directory back to current directory. Echo installing services. Change directory to nix. Also pop d and do bash deploy configs and lastly let's create a main function and let's give some delay uh, like 25 seconds and save that file go to the next terminal um, change the directory back and let's put this terminal here and let's run the um, create infra script and let's make it a little bit smaller just press enter oh we uh, actually forgot to run the main function yes <laughs> anyway let's call that again All right, I made a typo. So it looks like we are done. Let's check our services again. Okay, everything works. Uh, so since our infrastructure is ready and all services are installed, in the next part, I'm, I'm going to start configuring the Jenkins master and Jenkins agent.